2022 Christmas Village Food Tutorial Series Hybrid Solutions <laughs> What do I mean with hybrid? Uh, nowadays hybrid is something old combined with something new For example cars Old uh, petrol engines, heat engines combined with new electrical engines for getting everything electrical in the very near future. For my little Christmas village, hybrid means something old, already built, combined with something new, still to build, or rebuilt from scratch. Plus, plus a little something that I call old teenager techniques. <laughs> Let me explain this. Last time I closed my video telling you that my intention was to cry, obviously, to find a solution that is working right now, to use these big, heavy brackets to balance the weight caused by my full um, copper cage, total metal cage. Uh, but I decided to use these smaller brackets here, same family, less heavier, but very easy to hide. How? Using 1980s and 1990s teenage technique. Everything hided under the bed. Like in this case, those brackets are hided below, under the rotating platform, you can't see them, but they are there. Nowadays, teenagers hide everything digitally, electronically, very easy, but in the 80s and the 90s, everything was hiding under the beds, and everyone forgot that parents were also teenagers at some time. Plus, Okay, now everything is in balance, pure balance. Plus, I had to redo one little thing. The gate, <laughs> sorry, the cage. You have the impression that this is the old cage? No. The old cage is right here, guys. Pure copper, all metal cage. This is a mix between copper and bamboo skewers. The circles, the horizontal ones, are still my copper rings, pure metal rings. But the vertical ones, the ones that were uh, in majority causing weight problems, are now pure, simple bamboo skewers. <laughs> Very hard to find perfect, identical skewers in the packages, but hey, they are there. Why? Because last time, I was forgetting that in one, two, three spots, I still miss something very important. So I mix it, and now this is almost 200 grams less heavy than the other, uh, and then in part uh, 10. No problems now getting everything rolling around smoothly as you can hear sometimes you get a little crack but nothing the platform is well balanced i still miss a lot of things on the platform let's do that right now the rotating platform has a pure anonymous white floor even damaged in some points i need to try to make it a little more good looking without uh, uh, getting too much attention, too much attraction from you on it. 
a little logo, a bigger, a big logo, something, yes, colorful, but also not very important, something just for the details, guys. I worked on my Illustrator and used some 200 grams paper to get something big, something with 53 centimeters of diameter uh, that is somehow steampunk, such a big giant gear. The problem, I don't have a plotter, plotters uh, um, are all the technology in some ways and I needed to split the 52 centimeters in diameter um, drawing design in multiple sheets of paper in, and then do a little puzzle, a little collage here. So I will try to do exactly this. So I think I have six pages here. I think so, six pages. I need to get them together and then cut a big circle. Uh, my printer, my not laser printer, this is done with uh, an inject printer using this paper, Agaki, uh, matte paper, uh, photo paper, yes, but matte, very, very heavy, 200 grams as I just said, because the print is very good and the colors are vivid. So, blue on yellowish, but the, mm, the printer can't print exactly on the border, it needs some margin, so I will need to cut out those margins and then do something like that. Joining everything, if possible, using some mask tape. Okay, let's do it. Here is the full design I want for the. Uh, rotating platform floor so you can recognize maybe this giant cog here characteristic of steam pump and also mark it here because the center here of this circle here this is a square one the platform is the platform is uh, round so I need to cut this rounded. Platform is 52.5 centimeters in diameter. So here, once again, my big compass there. Set to 26.25, 26 26.25 multiplied by two equals 52.5. Five. And let's try Okay, so I've marked my perimeter, okay, uh, so my little collage here, my little puzzle here wasn't perfect at 100%, so I had some part still in blue like in this one, like in this case, some borders, some blue borders that were visible 
uh, in plain middle of the circle I would cut, uh, but it happens. I still have some blue here. Anyway, my rotating platform isn't that round, precisely, perfectly round. And so this will be the base. Uh, I am not worried about the little pieces I added here to get everything joined together because almost this will be covered by what I have on the platform. But instead of having uh, no full white uh, um, floor, I have this model here, this giant card here. I still need to uh, to think about the external border, so the border like that, this external border here of the platform, because this will not cover the external border, but uh, I think I will find a solution in the next minutes and I will show you the result after everything is done for this part. 11 in my final recap. So let's proceed. Well, 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 I have another dome. I have a dome, I have a rotating platform, I have three rings on the rotating platform. So I have a three ring circles. I also have some attractions to put in the rings. But I miss an audience, still, a, a circus without an audience lose its purpose. Okay, I know what you are thinking. My circus is a steampunk circus and instead of a tent I have some arcs and people can see through the arcs, no need of an audience inside the uh, dome but I want an audience inside the dome and for that purpose I will need some seating some sort of bench to accommodate the audience <laughs> very difficult to achieve thinking about the space I still have on the rotating platform so I needed to adapt, but I already introduced you that argument many times. Here, on my right side, I have my cutting table with my circular cut jig because I just ended, I just finished cutting some strange of circular pieces. I will try to do a circular bench, some sort of circular seating for the circus. And the length between one point and another is 12, 21 centimeters from here to there. And each time I will try to add something. Let's start building this seating, this bench. I will have this design here, almost an amphitheater, almost like my first 2022 stairs I made, but this way. I will proceed and glue them together like this, and I will have 1.5 centimeters of space between one of circle and the next one. Let's glue all the steps together and I have two, four, five steps. Some glue. 
PVC glue. I will not use this time some um, super glue. I will use some white PVC glue. A brush. And I will go on the borders. This is the first step. I will need three of them, then I will proceed with something else concerning this sitting system here, this um, circular, half circular just there. Little pause, I will fast forward when I have the three, uh, three of them done. Good, now I have these three pieces here. That I will place like that. Okay. Uh, this time I will go with some super glue. One, two, and three. Almost a circle, but not a circle. Okay. And now, mm, I will paint them. I don't know exactly how right now, but I will not do any of my usual black wash because this uh, this isn't supposed to have some shadows in it. So. Um, Yes, I will do some painting. Let's clean a little bit before. Good. The three um, sitting uh, uh, amphitheater, let's call them like that, are done. I will start from this one because it uh, is the most dry of the three. And I will go simply using two colors. Light blue, three my light blue, and some red, some blue red, this is called Bordeaux, but I will go simply with this color, these two colors. I mark it with some, a little black dot, uh, this section here and this other section here. I will have sit, fit, sit, fit, sit. 
people will be seated there, will have a fit there, will be seated here, will have fit there. So I will go everything blue except here and here that needs to be red. I will start with some blue. Oops. Okay, done, done, and done. One, two, three. So, seated, feet, seated, feet, seated. Okay? But now, some drying time, and then the audience. The audience. And I know precisely what you are thinking, guys. He can 3D model. He has a 3D printer, so he modeled and printed plenty of seating figurines to accommodate on these three amphitheaters, and he kept the secret. No lies, sorry, but it's not like that. Two days ago, those things weren't even planned at all. Yes, I had in mind some other forms, some other uh, design, but not like that. And please also take in consideration the amount of time needed to model and 3D print at least 20 sitting figurines. And Lemax and, or Limax and Department 56, you know, precisely, you know, even more than needed, they don't have an on catalog uh, based number of figurines, of sitting figurines. To accommodate here, yes, maybe some figurines, uh, some seated, seated figurines reading some newspaper or feeding or some animals or uh, people looking at each other, but uh, no figurines just uh, simply looking towards a certain point as an audience will do. So you may think that right now I am. I will not say that term because, uh, no, I don't like swearing on the camera, but you think I am in that position. But no, guys, simply because I was lucky and I think around one month ago I came across something very interesting on Amazon. Let me just uh, show you that those uh, sitting the places there are uh, well suited for the uh, for the Christmas village for my Christmas village escape if I sit in there it is at the right escape um, train mothers are very lucky because they have plenty of uh, uh, serialized figurines, so they are always in the same pose, but there are plenty of figurines, like this one, guys, but look, it is a sitting figurines, but it's very, very small, well suited for uh, train scale models, because the scale is very little compared to the gigantic uh, scale required by um, Christmas Village builders almost 20 to 30 times uh, shorter. But this is a classic for train models. <coughs> Sorry, and there are plenty of figurines like that. I can't even place them like that. I have some of them. But they are very, very small. Yes, I know that I must see people there that doesn't attract the attention of you viewers, of you guys, of the viewer, of the of the <laughs> audience, of the other audience, my audience, the audience of this channel, sorry. But those are too little. Anonymous, yes, doing something that doesn't doesn't bother anyone, yes, but too small. But and this is I think one fifth. 
scale 150. Lemax is between 124 to 128 to 26, 28. It depends on figuring. This is 150, so uh, um, very, very small. But as I was saying, a month ago I came across those figurines, guys. Those are 130. Bigger, yes. Not as big as the Christmas figurines needed for my Christmas village, but they are looking somewhere. Very polite, very precisely posed, and they are, do they are doing nothing in particular. They can be seated. This is pure plastic, painted. And they are just a little smaller, but they don't attract the attention. And these can fit the amphitheater there, my sitting places. The problem is we aren't, they are, the producers don't make a variety of pose. Let me say I just have four of them posing like that to Three and the fourth one, I think uh, it's not that, it's this one, the fourth one. So, two males and two females figurines posed. But luckily, they came uh, in different colors, okay? Not a variety of colors, but they are. Uh, different colors, uh, okay, purple, green, blue, green, grey, brown, so I have even another kind of purple here, those three are the same pose. So, I will use them. No eyes defined, the simply pure, pure uh, yellowish plastic with some very rough painting on top of them. Use it for by mm, train motors, but this is very huge for th train motors. Maybe I think it is from a very rare scale. And I can place them maybe like that. Okay, and a couple or even there. Okay. And I will do exactly that. I will use a combination of colors, a combination of uh, uh, people there, and I will get my audience. I will use. I I have I no intention to ruin them. Maybe they will came on and uh, useful next season. So I will not glue them. I will use some. Um, double sided uh, tape there and I will attach them to the amphitheater. Uh, I will just start and then I will fast forward as always. Let me try not to do a mess. They are very little. The three amphitheaters are, oops, are complete. Like that. Okay. I can show you also from this angle, but it will be clear 
during my final recap okay guys so 15 14 and 14 15 figurines 2 4 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and then 2 5 7 8 9 10 11 12 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 13 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and this is uh, what will be my three ring circus audience. If you are wondering why certain poses are looking always towards the same direction, this is intended for trained models, uh, train uh, or generally um, roll on rail roads clockwise. So if they roll clockwise like this, in this case, they are looking outside the window of the wagon. And as the train will go this way, they are looking all, they are all looking towards the same direction, outside the window. Those are looking in front, etc. But especially the women line there are looking outside the same direction. Anyway, I had to adapt. I think, and let me bring my tamer here, that this can be the right uh, solution for my uh, three ring circus audience. They don't need to be the focus of your attention. This little guy, for example, yes, <coughs> sorry, we um, accompanied by lions and the tiger. And let's go for something else, guys. Little surprise there. The dome and the other dome have a changed aspect, not in form but in color, because I painted them with the airbrush, and now they have changed completely aspect. They are more metallic, more sweated, and it took me four hours. Very long and tedious process there. Uh, what I used, I primed everything with pure white as I do for my figurines. Then, first layer of uh, a mix between grey and iridescent silver for the base, for the metallic base, every, uh, every single piece is done like that. Then, some sparse... Um, mm, spraying of uh, um, copper and you can see that it's copper maybe it will be more visible during my final recap but here you have sorry let's go you have some gray and if it is in silver as a base then some uh, copper then final touch uh, less uh, sparse um, spraying of bronze so a long process n n nothing is regular painted i wanted that effect as metal is uh, with some shades of color here and there but now and even in the inside guys i have done it outside and inside obviously i've separated the underdome from the dome then proceeded firstly with the dome than the other dome. So you may see different shades of metallic colors varying from uh, pure grey metallic to copper to bronze. A uh, very long process. Now, I need to cover the dome. But how? Very difficult. Materials such as this one, this is PET, transparent polyethylene terephthalate. What is equivalent to? It is equivalent to the plastic used in sparkling water. Not natural water, not plain natural water, but sparkling water because PET will not permit the gases inside the bottle to get outside the bottle. 
PVC if you uh, bottle some sparkling water inside PVC uh, during the long period the uh, water will lose the bubbles because PVC is permeable to gases but PET is not permeable to gases but anyway this is 2 point uh, no uh, uh, 0 0.25 millimeters a quarter of millimeter uh, thick uh, piece of PET but if I use it wrapping it all around I can't get it because I will need to do some bending here and there and this is not suited for any bending the only thing suited for bending like this is um, very thin uh, so for paper, kitchen paper, transparent kitchen paper, but very awful effect. The only way to proceed, I can't even proceed by hexagon, you can see that here I have an hexagon, here I have a pentagon, etc. Pentagon and hexagon. It's proceeding triangle by triangle. The only flat surfaces there will be each triangle will be flat. If you observe this, this is flat, this is flat, this is flat. If you take all the triangles together, they are not flat, they are turbid. But the single um, form, the single um, curve there, the triangle is flat. So there are two types of uh, triangles. There are equilateral triangles, 18.5 by 18.5 by 18.5 centimeters. Then there are isosceles triangles, 18.5 by 16.5 by 16.5. Sorry, 18.5, 16.5 and 16.5. And here, 18, uh, sorry, and here. 18 by 16 point, uh, by 18 point half by 18 point half here and I cut some of those triangles here for example this one will be placed like that and glued there in place Obviously, I will have some overlapping, but I can't avoid them, okay? Very long process, but it's the only one assuring a decent result with this, uh, with this dome here. So, I will proceed and maybe I will start and then I will get there. Uh, where are the equilaterals? number one, let's say they are cut the same dimensions. Yes, maybe I will proceed this way like that going yes I think it is the best solution to go this way adjusting uh, the cut even there when it's needed and yes it is the only solution so I will start with the first one hope you are seeing guys let me check the camera yes it is visible so and I will try to proceed with some super glue. Let's try not to make a mess. Sorry for my head, guys. Final recap of part 11. And it was entirely dedicated on the three ring circus because I needed to progress more quickly, but I can't progress more quickly. This is taking too long. Another 25 hours of work on the uh, circus there. 
and nine hours only for covering the dome with the PET. Huge work, guys. Um, everything is now there. So the um, floor there, I added the uh, four pieces of uh, two-sided tapes on the platform, then applied the, uh, the floor there. And the border here is painted, but I haven't painted it. It's self-painted. I just placed my brush like that and I switch on the motor and it painted by itself. It's self-painted. The audience, it's right there, guys. I don't know. Let me know what you think about the audience. I think that this scene is almost complete. Just some little details here and there. And the floor isn't disturbing at all, but now I know that there is something, but it isn't defined. It's good like that. I hated the, the white uh, platform there. Um, the dome, guys. Uh, for instance, this is the result of the painting, guys. The painting, uh, as I told you, uh, with um, primer, then gray and iridescent silver, then copper, and then a little of uh, bronze. It seems almost perfectly metallic. Maybe I'm I'm wrong on that. The dome. Uh, my idea initially was to glue everything. Oops. Okay. Was to glue everything, each and single one of the triangles, but mission impossible, guys. Uh, not even Tom Cruise would have make, made it. Uh, impossible to use... Uh, Super glue on the um, on the paintings there on the colors on the acrylic colors and uh, impossible to have just some little surface there. Um, but I had to cover it. So instead, of what I did, I went with some uh, um, two-sided tapes initially in the background. You can see some example. But then I used pure and simple transparent crystal clear tape scotch and uh, the brand sorry and this is the result now everything is covered guys okay and you can see through you have the reflection like a glass but it can see through uh, once this will be uh, complete i will also sparse some snow there and it will accumulate here on the mm, on the skewers there so even a more realistic effects with all the snow. The snow obviously will mostly accumulate in here on top of the dome and not here because it is too steep there. Uh, what else? The cage there. The cage. I only have four brackets now under the platform and everything is balanced. I've tried to manage the exact same amounts of figurines on the um, amphitheaters there to balance everything. Still needed to add uh, the knife thrower because I only have the assistant. I will search for it, guys. Uh, I have all my figurines in one place except for the knife thrower. I don't remember sincerely where I placed it. Maybe I used it for some purpose and then I misplaced it. My bad, guys. But now the cage is... Uh, well suited uh, and I don't know maybe I can approach my mic but it's just a minimum amount of noise and everything is rolling smoothly and so uh, what else ah yes what I still need to do in the next hour I will need to illuminate inside that Obviously, I cannot uh, make um, some uh, lamps on the platform because it turns and the wires <laughs> will be a problem. I will need to use the dome or the base of the dome to try to illuminate this scene, to try to bring light to the circus. And I think I will use the connectors there. But it's still an idea. 
and I will try to complete this task by next part, part 12. And so with part 13, I will be able to continue with something else and to dedicate some more time to the mysterious building there that is almost uh, a month that is there and touch it. And so, guys, uh, see you for the outro. Very dirty, guys. The PET is stained. It's co entirely covered with my fingerprints mixed with some glue, I think. Let's hope I will be able to clean it. Otherwise, no, please, I don't want to think on the otherwise. Uh, nine hours to complete this is enough for a lifetime. The longest, the hardest, the best everything task I ever did for my Christmas villagers, and it's taking me, taking me too, and it's taking me too long. Sorry, it's very late. Um, this should be my Christmas village. 25 or 22 to 25 parts dedicated to the three ring circles. Let's hope that the final result will be appreciated. Uh, what else? Uh, nothing, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English. And but only if you wish. See you next time. Good night.